peas are in the legume family and legumes are nitrogen fixers. Um, many plants draw up nitrogen from the soil so they can grow big and strong and peas, legumes on the other hand, give nitrogen to the soil. So if ever you're having a garden bed that you think I'd like to add a little nitrogen to it, you don't have to, you don't have to grab any fertilizers and things from stores. Just throw some peas in the ground. Across the yard there up against the fence, yesterday we planted sugar snap peas. And they like to climb. And I've got a new pea here today that is called sugar bond. New to me. I haven't planted this before. But it says it grows only about a foot or two and does not need staking or trellising. And so I'm excited that I can put this in any garden bed without having to build a little trellis for it. So I'm gonna go right here. This bed had a little trouble last year. It grew plants, but then those plants didn't necessarily fruit very well before they perished. And anyways, I thought, you know, peas, they give a boost to the soil, and that's what I wanna do in this bed. So we're gonna go an inch deep and six inches apart for these peas. Pretty excited about a pea that I can put anywhere in the garden that doesn't need to be staked. This is great. I'm hoping it will do well in the desert. I will have to report to you on that another time. How well did it do in the desert? That is an ongoing thing I do on this channel is try and experiment and report on how things grow here. I'd like to accumulate over time a nice size catalog of plants that do really, really well that you can count on year after year. So that's what I do. I'm always planting old favorites along with trialing new ones. If you're in a region similar to ours, this is the time to get peas and a couple of other cool weather plants into the ground. Seeds that don't mind that it's still a little bit cold, not quite spring yet, not totally past all danger of frost, but peas can handle that. I hope you're having a great day and happy gardening.